video we'll look at how you can use the uh, checkbox column feature that the grid supports and also um, the uh, client-side uh, JavaScript events to create a running total of the items that are selected so you can see here that uh, when I check on a row um, we take the value in the uh, price field there and add it uh, into this total over here so if I go there and click on the second row now it's 16.77 and now 20.77 if I check all rows and then uncheck all rows so um, we're doing a client-side JavaScript calculation uh, in the uh, uh, so the client-side event that fires when you check this column so let's go now and take a look at how we did this so first um, let's see how we actually turned that checkbox column on so I'll just go here and uh, search for check and you can see here there's a property in the grid called has checkbox column so that causes the uh, checkbox column to to be turned on then next let's go to the um, below grid uh, and you can see here that below the grid we have a div and inside the div we have um, this text which says total of items selected and then a span with an ID um, with the, uh, of total. So we're going to be writing uh, to this span here updating the value shown inside that span and then finally let's go take a look at the um, system events and uh, we care about this this event here called the on grid row check so this event fires whenever the user uh, checks or unchecks a um, checkbox in a grid row so you can see here uh, this is how this uh, little javascript code works so we get uh, we define we uh, initialize uh, these uh, four variables count uh, le total and uh, le2 uh, actually i don't think we even uh, need this count variable um, and then we loop over all of the rows in the grid and uh, to get the rows in the grid we look at the grid object uh, it has a property called underbar rows in grid so we're going to loop over all of the rows uh, in the grid and you can see that in our JavaScript we're using two placeholders this is the placeholder for the grid object and this is the placeholder for the grid name and uh, so then we get a um, we get a pointer to the element uh, that uh, is the checkbox in each row and the syntax here would be for example if this grid had an alias of grid1 this would be grid1.v.r1 underbar underbar row checkbox and of course if we were to go and and examine this grid in firebug for example we would be, be able to see that that in fact is the right syntax to refer to a checkbox so if I go uh, let's just um, quickly go to um, firebug here let me just uh, launch this in uh, let's go close and then quickly just launch this in uh, firebug and then inspect that row there so if I go now and inspect that checkbox and uh, I can see that there's the syntax for the ID for that element you can see there's the grid alias followed by dot V then uh, dot row 5 and then underbar underbar row checkbox so that's how you know uh, what the ID of that element is so let's go back to um, our editor there so you can see here this is this is now a pointer to the checkbox element and then we use the uh, alpha 5 JavaScript function called GVS which stands for get value single so we're saying that if the value of the checkbox is not null in other words it's been checked then we now get a pointer to the price column and then uh, we uh, get the value inside the price column convert it into a number add it to the total and then when we're done we uh, convert to two decimal places and then SVS is set value single that's going to go and set the inner HTML of the span with the ID of total so that's how we actually went ahead and uh, uh, created our running totals I hope you found this useful thanks very much